Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine Open World series. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to fix the collisions of this um, entrance uh, static mesh object. So as you can see here, we got some collision problems. Now as you can see, I can't properly go there because uh, this object uh, doesn't have a proper collision setup. So that's why this character goes haywire at here. See? So I'm going to show you how to fix it basically uh, and how to set up pro collisions for the object properly. And as always, this episode is also sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so let me open this is the relevant static mesh of this object so now as you can see here we have this convex collision type and as a simpler solution I could do this I'll remove all the collisions and then enable complex collisions now the complex collision will have uh, the exact complexity as this uh, as this static mesh polygons so in the settings for this object here I'll use collision complexity as this use complex collision as simple and I'll save it and let's see now what happens wait why can't i go there i'm not sure let's try to go there from here okay all right the problem is i think this character can't go up in this staircase because that is too steep the angle is too much for the character that should be the case okay so anyway when i have the collisions uh, with this when i have the complex collisions the collisions will be fine no issue there but the problem is this type of collision would uh, require more performance more uh, computation power so it is always better to have the simpler collisions um, right so if this is better than the simpler collisions then by default we would have only this one so, right so I assume this one is more performance more computation heavy okay so yeah i'll remove this and set to project default and remove the complex collisions and i'll set up the collisions by hand so it's not that hard actually uh, but if you have thousands of, of objects that would be harder but so first thing you can do is you can set up hull count and max vertex count and hull precision here if you don't have this window you can go to window and use this convex decomposition and apply so as you increase these parameters the collision will be more accurate so now it looks like this and here it is we have a problem see right so we can do this way to try increasing these parameters but i think i'll just remove this and add a box like this and i'll move it up let me enable snappy 
looks like it's a snappy not working for the collisions and just like oh, let me go to the top view just like modifying any other 3d object wait yeah just like any other 3d object I can modify this too like this see it's not that hard scale snap in I'll make it okay right one box done let me duplicate with like this keep alt pressed and move it with one of the arrows and let's go to top view is it the center now go to the left view place it in the middle okay now go to the front view and duplicate it and set it wait it didn't duplicate it let me enable the scene ah. okay right uh, now we have six pillars left we select this and move down to match this one not perfect but it should be enough mm, now I move it here and rotate like this okay now bottom part is covered main pillars covered now we need to cover this we need to cover this one two three four five six seven or oh, eight okay we got eight smaller pillars so let's cover them for that i'll duplicate this one move it here
go to the left view place it in the middle may disable scale snapping Okay, how it looks from the front. Oh, all right, now let's go back to left. Okay, now we need another one here. Let's go to perspective now. Okay, select both these ones and press Alt and move like this. Oh, wait. I think I haven't selected this one. This and press Ctrl and click this and move with Alt. Right, and move with alt and more with dirt right now the collisions for this object should be fine all right let's play and see if i can go through there without any issue cool no issue at all Yeah, it's perfect. See? No more stumbling upon things. No more glitches. Everything is perfect. Alright. So that's how you set up collisions for the objects. And I'll stop this episode at this point. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my patron club. Link would be in the description below. And if you join my club, you can download all the project files, all the releases I, that I have done so far in this series. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.